Hey everybody, Sam here with another In Defense of Bad Movies mini-sode. Uh, okay, let me just, I'm just going to go straight into the new movie. Actually, it's re I'm, I'm really excited about this because we are doing something we have not done yet. It is, for the first time, an In Defense of Bad Movies in Theaters Now edition. We, well, I, I'm gonna, and I'm going to pull back the curtains a little bit. We have already watched and recorded we've watched the movie and recorded the episode and um we're just gonna stockpile it because one of our defenders laura is just gonna be, is going to be busy the next few weeks so we won't be able to record it so we've got it now it's in the can ready to go we're just gonna wait the two weeks to release it on schedule so the movie we watched it's a sequel it um oh i should say it's I'm sure it'll still be in theaters by the time in two weeks because uh, the first one did very well. I'm sure the second one, as far as I know, is doing well, and I have I see no reason why it will not continue to do well. Well, actually, I do see a reason why it would stop doing well because people would come to their senses because it is a craptastic movie. Unfortunately, uh, again, pulling back the veil, we as you know, we normally watch movies that are rev reviewed poorly and this one was going to be no exception when i saw i think it was like in the 40 somethings 40 something percent on rotten tomato the rotten tomatoes but when we were reviewing it uh, i pulled it up and it was like at 61 percent so i don't know what happened if all the uh desperate housewives who were also reviewers of movies went out and saw it or what but that the the ratings on it just skyrocketed, and of course the movie I'm talking about is Magic Mike XXL. <sighs> yeah, Laura said she would defend it, and then Bobby said, yeah, he would defend it too. Not only would he defend it, he likes it. Uh, Lauren and I don't. This is I'm getting into spoiler territory here, but oh man, I, I do not get why people like this movie, but they do. And we watched it, and we talked about it, and hopefully you'll listen to it. So that is in two weeks. What else have we got going on? Uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So if you want to play along with us, listen or watch the movie, you know, review it however you like, come back and listen to what we say about it. You are more than welcome and also invited to do it although what i would suggest doing is especially if you're a straight male maybe buying a ticket for absolutely anything else and just sneaking into mad max xxl you can if you really you could buy it if you want to do it in a way that if you get caught it's not that big of a deal you could just express confusion buy a ticket to the new dog movie max then sneak into mad max xxl i'm sorry matt uh Mad Max, Mad Max XXL, that'd be amazing. Now, sneak into Mad... Oh, man. Did I... I said Mad Max the first time, too. Magic Mike. I'm having trouble with the words today. Uh, yeah. Buy a ticket for Max. Sleep in... Sneak into Magic Mike XXL. Or buy a ticket to Mad Max. Fury Road. Whatever you want to do. Uh, we were all... We were hoping to make this a twofer, where we would release two in theaters now movies... Uh, episodes this week it might not happen because the other movie that's reviewed poorly we haven't seen yet and we are going to see it it still might happen but judging by the reviews i yeah yeah terminator genesis is not a good movie so we'll see um personal plugs this july the 28th that is in three weeks tuesday it's uh, a week after our episode comes out. Will be uh, my improv troops group, the upperclassmen, will be performing at Bricks in Long Beach. It's on. It's in Belmont Shore on Second Street. We're going to be doing a free improv show, and that is at eight twenty. And you totally should check it out. And then we have our regular show August sixteenth at at the Long Beach Playhouse, and that is at seven o'clock. Not free, but really good prices. Just hit me or any of our any of the other upperclassmen up, and you can get some tickets for five dollars. They are ten dollars at the door, a savings of a big fifty percent. But you get one hundred percent of the laughs. 
Uh, I think that'll do it. So yeah, go out there, watch Magic Mike XXL. And no, you know what? No, don't. Go watch Mad Max Fury Road. You'll enjoy it way more. Nah, watch Ma- watch Magic Mike. What else do you have to do? What to go watch Mad- Magic Mike XXL? I mean, what are you going to do? Spend time with your friends and family? No, go watch the movie. If you're a gay woman, you'll like the strip scenes. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're a straight woman, you'll like the strip scenes. If you're a gay man, you'll like the strip scenes. If you're a straight man, you will appreciate the strip scenes. And everything else is also there. So join us in two weeks, my friends. You're sure to get a smile on the next episode of In Defense of Bad Movies in Theaters Now edition. Okay, bye.